Hello, hello. Welcome to the first part of my Dark Souls Remastered SL1 run. Never actually done one of these before, never attempted them, haven't done much research or preparation, so this is gonna be a shit show. Most likely. Starting off with Pyromancer and Master Key, because I know that the first thing I want to do is go kill Quaylog and get the Pyromancies there. Alright, so let's get into it. Start the game. So I don't know a whole lot about uh, SL1 runs. I know that Pyromancy is good because it doesn't scale with anything. So it's just a matter of... Uh, leveling up the Pyromancy Flame. We're not going to try to kill him first try. Uh, not kill an asylum demon first try. There's no point to it. We can't use the weapon and it's just more pain than we need to go through right now. You fucking thought, bitch. Try to Indiana Jones me. I don't think so. Wait, no, 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 wrong button. been playing games where X is the attack button instead of R1. Shh, we don't need to talk about it, it's fine. We can't get back here. There's no point in killing him yet, so. Boss time. Just take off the first chunk of his health bar there. Butt slam, and then we just bonk him a couple more times. Easy peasy, easy game. Wouldn't that be a great way to start an SL1 run, dying to the fucking asylum demon? Okay, so I think that's everything to grab without hopping over behind the fucking thing. So let's go ahead and go down, down, down. Oh shit, so we can use him to upgrade our hand axe. It would be nice to get plus something something before we go down and kill Koilog, but that doesn't really seem to be an option. Could get magic. Come back soon. Smithing helps soon. That might also help with Quaylog. I mean, it's not like we've got anything else to spend our souls on for right now. Like, yeah, that's fine for now. Because my plan is to get Mildred, summon her to help with Quaylog, and then we can plink away at Quaylog with magic. Because she's immune to fire, obviously. She's on fire, so... So while Mildred's doing most of the damage, we can try to take some aggro and plink away with the, the itty bitty mage spell. 
baby's first mage spell. Of course, first we have to actually get to her. And I don't know... I know, um, what's his face? I want to say Lawtrek, but I know that's not it. The fucking the pyromancer dude who's looking for his master. He's up in the depths, but I don't know if I even want anything he has. Get down the ladder, please. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, I think fighting these guys is a mistake, so we're just gonna keep moving. We do like single digit damage. Please do not. Fuck. This is fine. This is not fine. Cool. Very cool. Well, hey, we didn't die to the first boss. That's something. One of the issues with not having played this game in a while is I don't, like, totally remember the route to get down to the Blighttown Bonfire, which is not ideal when you're running blindly for your life. So I'm almost certainly gonna yeet myself off the edge at some point and plummet to my death. In less than spectacular fashion. Just fucking run. No! What was I saying about yeeting myself off the edge? Don't jump off that one, cause- oh no. Uh, shit! Okay. Now where actually is the bonfire? It's over that way, right? Yeah. Something just died. Okay. Let's go ahead and get Mildred in Mildred into the mix. There we go. Let me kill this thing first, please. Alright. Can dodge. Whew. Backstab, please. You can fuck off. Fuck. Damn mosquitoes.
least it does enough poise damage to fucking stun locker. Okay. Okay. Let's go try our hand with Quaylog. Oh, I don't have- oh shit. I'm gonna be fucking poisoned for this whole thing. I don't have- ah, shit. I didn't think about that. Okay. Alright, Mildred, let's do this. Gonna be a fucking mess, probably. Get the intro to Spider Mommy, which I think we can. Oh, it's not letting me skip. There it goes. I would like to not be cornered because of that. Exactly because of that. Oh, wow, that's, uh, it's not a lot. But, Mildred, would you please not be fucking useless? Fuck! Well, if nothing else, she takes some aggro off so I can plink at her. Awesome! Okay. Okay. So the thing is, we've only got, what, five shots at this? Before we run out of humanity and are stuck on our own. Which is a bit of an issue. Alright, take two. Mildred, don't be fucking useless. We've even got an Estus, an extra Estus, because we're online and something happened. Someone somewhere did something and it benefited me. Get her. Hell yeah. Bonk the spider woman. You you got her once. Come on. I know you can do more than that. There you go. Oh, I think that's the AoE. Yeah, that's nasty. Turn around, face me, give Mildred a chance to catch up. Oh, that's the nasty one. What are you doing? Not just- Oh my fucking god, Mildred, please. I think she got stuck in the lava. Well, uh, this is fine. That's not fine. Oh, god damn it. Get her. What? 
What is she doing? For fuck's sake. Just, just make an attack, please. Let's let her get out of the entryway, though. Yeah. a little space to maneuver. Ah shit, there she goes. Actually got her bonked a couple times. she goes trading aggro teamwork okay I think she's on me now yep now get her okay now we take aggro while we wait for Mildred to recover Leader back over towards Mildred. Where? What was that? You don't need to attack that. There you go. Attacking the puddle of lava is maybe not the best strat. Okay. Oh, that's a wall. Knocking shit over. All right, that's Quayla done. Only what, like five deaths? And I think like her and Fire Sage and maybe Centipede Demon are the only. Uh, boss is immune to... Where is it? Immune to fire. Most of them aren't. So once we get this upgraded, we'll be set to go for a good chunk of the bosses. And get our first Bell of Awakening. Hello, sir. I would like to speak to your mother. Oh, dear. <laughs> Move. Great Chaos Fireball. Hell yeah, second pyromancy already. Um, don't want to offer humanity right now, I don't think. Well, we might offer her this one because I don't need it for anything, but it'll probably just lose it first time I fucking get the chance to. But I don't know if I'm actually going to want any of the pyromancies you get from this covenant. I'll have to look that up. So wait, do you? Yeah, you, you, I, uh, haha. 
this. How high can we get this? All right, plus eight, not bad at all. You know, I think if we go kill Ceaseless now, hang on, because if I use the items I've got, I think if we go kill Ceaseless and then use the items, we'll have enough to get plus 10, and then we can go to Quailana and potentially get plus 15. Like, it's fucking nothing. Maxed out Pyromancy Flame after one boss would be phenomenal. I want to go down here regardless to get the bonfire for when we unlock fast travel. There he is, the boy. The big sad boy. Hello, sir. Gonna steal your shit now. Now we run. Just run. Okay. Something big happened. That's fine. Just go. Just go, 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 go. Man, he looks pretty fucking spooky when he's running at ya. Alright. And then we just whack him until he goes down. He falls to the greatest enemy of them all. Gravity. Hey. Victory achieved. Damn. Okay, well, maybe plus items? Yep. Just fucking barely. Oh, man. Yeah. With 38 runes to spare, we have a plus 10 pyromancy flame. And so, we've killed two bosses, well, one and like, I don't know, maybe a quarter bosses. We've killed one boss and cheesed another. And we have a plus 10 pyromancy flame, so I think that's a pretty damn good spot to leave off this episode. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll go get the other Bell of Awakening and then uh, progress from there.